y'all would have told me this girl had bad books, I would have shut the door in y'all face. But y'all didn't do that. I could have owned this whole. Alright, hey y'all. So it is Shania J. And I am back with another video. This time, I'm going to do a story time about my roommate that I had freshman year and the experiences that I had. So, we're gonna call her, what are we gonna call her? We're gonna call her Brittany, okay? So, basically, your freshman year, you if you have to have a roommate, you get paired with the roommate, and they let you know, like, the summer before classes or whatever. So, she had reached out to me, I think, and emailed me or something like that. So, excuse my nails, y'all, it looked really bad. But she had reached out to me through email, I believe basically like introducing herself blah 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 and so we ended up exchanging numbers it went and started off well move-in day comes around and it's cool it's like literally cool she had moved in first she basically had all her stuff moved in first i think i had ended up getting here later because we had drove but uh yeah she had all her stuff moved in it was just her and her mom there so we came in it was like it was like normal like a normal process so like a you can only imagine like how I felt when things took a left. Yeah, she had moved in and everything like that. And it was cool. Her mom and my mom had exchanged numbers. Remember this. Her mom and my mom exchanged numbers just in case, you know, of an emergency or if they need to get in touch with anybody. So yeah, like literally like she was like so nice. Her mom was so nice. Um, but it, it was like we clicked well. But mind you, that's why I'm, that, that whole time my family was there, like, helping me move in. So, of course, you're going to be nice and stuff when your family there. This was the week before class started. I got to move in early because I was living in the LLC at the time. It was a living, learning community for nursing. So, I got to move in early. So, we were there, like, about a week before um, the everybody else moved in. So, that whole week, it was, it was smooth, I guess. Like, we was cool, chatting, whatever. And, um... I think the day before class or a couple days before class we had walked around campus to find our classes together like it was literally like cool as hell like she was cool as hell classes start or whatever and this is when stuff kind of gets crazy so one of these days I came back to my room and it was like these random people in there and like we had decided I believe we had decided that like if we had people in we were gonna text each other you know let them know you know I'm gonna have company over blah 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 so I come in, it was like random people in there. I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. Hey, how y'all doing? So, it was like every day that week, it was like somebody new. And I was kind of getting irritated because I would never know who these people are. And I'm like, we just got on campus, so how do you know these people? And why are they in my room with my stuff? I can already sense. I'm glistening, y'all. Like, yeah, as the weeks go by or whatever, I start to notice, like, she didn't clean up after herself at all. Like, I would look over mind you like she really wasn't in the room like she would come in the room and like put some clothes on like early in the day and she would not come back to like either really really late that evening or like the next day or like the next day after that like she was barely in the room so i'm like okay cool whatever mind you i never had a roommate like i didn't have to room with anybody since i was like i don't know maybe six five or six years old but i was really cordial that's the thing like i was really trying to make this work and it just yeah, she would come in really, really late or whatever, and as she was doing it, she would, like, have food or get clothes or whatever, but she would never put the stuff back. So, like, it's like my side of the room was clean, and then you look over at her side, it looked like a tornado had hit it. Like, literally, like, it was, like, old pizza boxes with pizza still in them, underwear, like, hanging. It was, like, I have pictures of everything, y'all. I have pictures because they had got that bad. She would, like, stack trash bags at the door like she was gonna take it out so i'm like i'm not the type i don't like getting on people about stuff like that i'm just gonna wait and see if you actually do it so i didn't really say much but then it, it was it got to the point where it was like five it's six trash bags little tiny walmart bags stacked full of trash like stacked up like she was gonna take it out so i would like i don't i can't remember fully i have a bad memory but i really remember I think I would either text her and ask her if she was gonna take it out or like, you know, joke like, hey girl, you wanna get your trash on the way out, blah, 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 stuff like that. So, yeah, so as the weeks go, went by or days, because honestly, she wasn't even, it had gotten so bad, like I think she had moved out by September, 
September or the middle of October. It was early though. It was early in the uh, semester. It had just gotten really bad. Like she, it was just bad. Like you would go in the shower, it was like hair and everything hanging in the shower. So yeah, I had started notice, noticing that as the weeks went by. And um, I was like, okay. Well, I'll just call my mom. I would, I call my mom about everything to this day. I'll call her like, Mama, she not cleaning up and did it in weeks went by or whatever. Like, we really wouldn't say anything to each other. It would be like a high and by type thing. And you know, I'm cool with that because I just be to myself anyway, so I'm cool with that. And then she wouldn't really say anything, but I would hear like people coming up to me like, Hey, are you so and so? Are you Brittany's roommate? And I'm like, Yeah, why? She's like she says this about you she said that about you and blah, blah 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 and i'm like what like i <laughs> like i was gen i was like genuinely confused because i was like i never said i barely say two words to this girl so i don't know what's where this coming from during this time i had been trying to get in touch with her about cleaning and stuff like that but she wasn't really you know being responsive about it and whatnot so one day i was doing something i think i was making something to eat or whatever and i had just so happened to use the microwave because i wasn't using the microwave like that so um i had just so happened to need to use the microwave so i opened the microwave and sitting in the microwave was a bowl of spaghettios or something with mold in it like mold and i was just like i was like <laughs> me now that's how it was like i was like this is nasty imagine how long it had to sit in there for it to like completely mold on the top like and mind you like i said i had not been using a microwave she was the only one using a microwave so this was like the last job because at this point it had been some weeks in it was like dirty underwear trash everywhere like bed not made stuff thrown all over the place on the floor blah 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 and my thing is like look you need to be clean because I got to live in this room too. And if I see a bug, it's over with. It's over with. Because it's not me. It's you. This was the last straw. So I texted her. I was like, I took the, I took a plastic bag, put my hand, put the plastic bag on my hand like that, you know. Grab the bag out of the microwave. Wrap that stuff up and put it on her desk. And then I texted her. I was like, um, I think I texted her. I was like, uh, we really need to talk, blah, blah, blah. I think I... If I find the text messages, I can show y'all, but I think it was along the lines of, like, we really need to talk. I found mold in the microwave. It's not mine, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, stuff like that. At this time, I had been trying to get in contact with her with it, so I was like, said that, and then I was like, if I don't talk to you, then I'm going to have no choice but to take it to her RA, blah, blah, blah. So I believe, I want to say she texted me back, and she was like, well, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. If you want to talk, you can send it through a text message. I'm like, no, that's where you got me messed up. We're not doing that. We're talking about this in person because you like to play games clearly, and I'm not the one to play games with. This is where, like, it basically had blew up. She texted me like, okay, we can meet up, blah, 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 and let me know when she would be back in the room. And then I want to say I ended up coming back to the room, and she had, like, all her stuff moved out. And I'm like okay like it, it could have just been like a regular you know sit down talk about it fix it type of situation but she literally had like her stuff like getting ready to move out and i was like i didn't say anything because i had no issue with it like you can go, go ahead sure you can go so i think her and her friends had came in at the same time and she just started grabbing stuff like she just say nothing to me she just started like grabbing stuff her friends started grabbing stuff moving it blah 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 blah, blah. and mind you i didn't know why it was just like random like she was just moving out and in the middle of the semester that's hard because you know all the housing is taken so she was moving out I told my mom so long story short my mom had figured out that she had basically been complaining to her mom about me saying that i was mean and i was rude and i was always yelling at her blah 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 and this never happened so she had been telling this to her mom and somehow her mom had gotten her moved out of the room Cause honestly, that was about to be my next step. If she didn't go, I was gonna go. Cause it clearly it wasn't it wasn't gonna work. But she said that's when my mom told me that basically that's what had been going on, and she had complained to whoever about me saying that I was mean and I was doing this and I was doing that and blah blah blah. And I'm like, girl. So that was her thing. Like she loved love love to lie. That's why when I first met her, I was like, I'm gonna have to watch you. 
yeah that was that story so basically she ended up moving out and i ended up having that room i think the whole that whole first semester i was there i had that room for myself like, like when i tell y'all it was lit in that room it was lit like it was crazy and she ended up moving to the building across from the one where i stayed and i think i maybe saw her once or twice and then like it was funny because i was still hearing her talk hear from people that she was talking and met like hella stuff i would still hear that from people so when i would see her it's like she would see me and she would try to hurry up and go the other way or hurry up and turn the corner because she knew what she was doing i'm like sis we wrong like <laughs> needless to say like i don't see her anymore i don't even know if she still goes here but that was that story the next story i'm gonna get into is crazy it's not really a roommate story but it was like it was really messed up the way it happened so basically i had had this room to myself for a long time and it had gotten to the point where they were trying to tell me like either i pay for both sides of the room or i move into a single so during this time it was this girl so apparently it was this girl and apparently something had gone down in their room and they knew that my room had a vacant side so i get this knock on the door at like two three o'clock in the morning and i'm like okay what the hell was going on so I open the door and it's the RA and this girl she had like her pillows and her covers or whatever and I'm looking I'm like what's going on so the RA tells me she's like she needs to stay here for the night um there's an incident in her room blah 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 and mind you I wasn't thinking like I could have easily said no but I was like okay fine whatever so she stayed on the other side because I figured it was just for that night so she stayed on the other side for that night and so I'm like okay whatever I don't think I went to sleep that night either because you know I'm so I get up the next morning and I asked her I believe I asked her you know like what's going on she was like oh my roommate had they found bed bugs in my room and did it I'm like what like she was like yeah they found bed bugs in my room so we me and my roommate we had to go and you had a vacant room so blah 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 I'm like are you kidding me like the, the RA did not tell me this she did not tell me this I wake up the next morning and I'm like what do you mean like and you gonna bring her into my room and she has bed books and shit in her, and stuff in her room like that's not what's up so I was mad when I say I was mad like I got on the phone I was mad I was crying to my mom like they brought her in cause she had bed books and da -da 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 -da. my mama was pissed y'all when I tell y'all she was pissed this is that that's this story is low-key how i got the single now <laughs> like my mom don't play i called her i was like yeah she got they said she got bed bugs blah 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 my mom was like what did it and why did it and i'm sitting there crying emotional i'm like i didn't know i thought i had to open the door <laughs> so it was bad so meanwhile my mom gets in touch with the higher ups of the housing department and stuff like that that's what it was my mama got in touch with them and the lady came back to my room trying to get everything together like get her stuff together because she knows this was gonna be her uh, but if she didn't get it together so yeah my mama had basically went off on the whole department and then she comes back and tells me everything that's going on and she's like um yeah they found bed bugs in her room blah 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 now we have for procedure reasons we have to fumigate your room and blah 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 i'm like are you serious like when i tell you i was crying i was like what if they find something in my room? So, she's like, yeah, for safety reasons, we have to fumigate the whole room. You can't be in here from this time to this time. And I'm like, this is some BS. If y'all would have told me this girl had bad books, I would have shut the door in y'all face. But y'all didn't do that. I could have owned this whole. <laughs> so, yeah, she was like, um, you have to take all of your clothes. Even though she wasn't on your side, you have to take all of your clothes and put them in a dryer and all this and that. And like, y'all, I'm terrified of bugs, so I didn't even want to be in the room no more. So, the lady comes in, so why they doing that? Um, I have to get all my clothes and I take them to the dryer and wash them. She's like, don't wash them, just dry. I'm like, I'm about to wash my stuff, I'm about to dry this stuff and da -da -da -da. So... I'm all emotional. My mom was pissed off. She keep calling me, keep calling the housing department, all this and that. Meanwhile, I um, <laughs> while my stuff is getting, cause I can't go in the room for a couple hours, so I go down the hallway to Yana's room, crying. She like, she don't even know what to do. Like, she she just don't know what to do. So I bring all my stuff to Yana's room, and I'm waiting for them. 
whole time I'm waiting for them to say if they found something in my room. They ended up, they didn't find anything, but they had to bring like a new mattress over there. Um, they had to bring a new mattress to, for the other side. I was like, um, forget that, I'm taking that mattress. You can take my old mattress, put it over there, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, they didn't end up finding anything, but it was just so messed up when I tell y'all it was so messed up. Because I was like literally scared. I was like, what if this girl didn't track all this through my room? And I'm not dirty like that. I don't have bed bugs. How do y'all even, how does that happen? And long story short, it came back that there was like nothing in my room. So I was like, okay, cool. My mama was still pissed off. She was so pissed off. Like, yeah, I get why my mom was mad about that. But, um, yeah, like I said, it was like a random girl. They were like, she has to stay here, blah, blah, blah. They didn't tell me to the next morning why she had to come there. And then they had to fumigate my room. I had nowhere to go for, like, hours. And then, you know, my, so my mom, she was bad. She got a right to be mad. So, basically, I don't know what my mama did. I don't know what type of threat she made. But... Basically, I ended up moving into a single. Mind you, they said they didn't even have singles available. I ended up moving into a single for that second spring semester. And then I've been in a single ever since. So they messed up pretty bad. But I don't know what they did. They pulled some strings and they were like, look, put me in a single before her mama come down and blow this whole thing up. I was like, exactly. Yeah, that was my roommate stories from um, freshman year. I'm pretty sure, I have so many other stories, but my mind, like, I be forgetting what happened. But yeah, I be forgetting a lot, so. Hopefully, I didn't leave out no details. I really hope I didn't. But yeah, that was my story time for y'all, and I will be back, hopefully, with more, because I have a lot of story times from being here. But, um, hope you guys enjoy, and please continue to like and subscribe and share, and I will be back with another video.